We get asked all of the time, have you ever felt afraid? Afraid that someone was going to try to hurt us or our van. We've been traveling in this van for almost four years now, through Mexico, Central America, and most of South America. And up until last night, we've always been able to say no. We've never been afraid someone was going to try to hurt us. That's all changed now. guys no doubt about it our scariest moment in the van um the voice is shaking it's taken us a minute to get the camera uh oh you all right kurt yeah middle of the night i don't even know what time it is it's, it's not that late it's only 10 o'clock I don't know if y'all can see it, but we just woke up to someone banging on the window. Our 3M security film worked, but our window is shattered. Uh, we need to duct tape this. We'll be back in a minute. Definitely our scariest moment in the van. Oh, they almost got in. Oh, our poor kitty cats are scared the daylight out of them. Oh, wow. That was scary. All right. We gotta figure out what to do now. We, uh, clearly, first thing in the morning, have to find a place to get a a new window. I don't think there will be any sleeping tonight, so I don't even really think we need to move. We're in a very lit up area, right by a very nice mall. Cars around us. There's cars all around us. There's cars driving by. It's not even 10 o'clock at night. They were just trying to smash in and steal what's grab. in the van. Yeah. Just smash and grab. Well, I could tell you I've never saw Kurt move that fast. Well, I got hung in the bed in the and I just screamed out loud. He was yelling so loud and I looked out the window. My feet were caught in the bed and I just fell all the way down to the floor. All right, guys, we're feeling a little vulnerable. At least I am. We'll see y'all later. We're okay. Guys, just to let you know, we felt incredibly safe parked where we're at. I mean, it's 10 minutes later and a whole family with little kids and stuff just walked by. You never know where this will happen, I guess, but we were not parked in an area that felt sketchy all but yeah it, but it's a big city it's a smash and grab they were trying to smash smash in and break what we had or steal what we had and that's all it could happen anywhere in the world it just happened to us and right here here we're gonna go drive and try to find a paid parking lot that we can maybe get into 
There's nothing on iOverlander. There's not much options showing up on the Google. It's kind of where we ended up, where we were. But we don't feel like this is somewhere we should stay. So we're going to go look for somewhere to park until in the morning. We did find three or four places that say they fix windows on the Google. We'll try to be there when they open. made it to a 24-hour truck stop out on the edge of town the turnpike just outside of town parked up between two semis it is 11 15 um, we're gonna try to find a window first thing in the morning we're gonna try to get some sleep I don't know how that's gonna happen we'll see you in the morning good morning it was not just a nightmare. We walk, woke up to a shattered window, but the good news is everybody in the van was able to get a little bit of sleep. Uh, the truck stop gas station we parked at, it was a 24 hour place and we were nestled in between uh, two semis. We believe these are the overalls of the guy that tried to break into our van. He brought a grocery cart with him. Yeah. He had a grocery cart and Snow saw him trying to escape. Yeah, Kurt he, scared the daylights out of him. And he was stumbling and fumbling and falling to get away, but these were in his grocery cart, so we don't know if he stole these from somebody else, or, or they were his or in their his disguise when he gets away. But uh, we're gonna find someone to give them to because we weren't gonna let him come back and have them. There are bad people all over the place, but there are a lot more good people. This will not put a damper on Chile for us. There's a couple of things I wanna tell y'all. Our house was broken into in Orlando, Florida. The same thing, one of our glass kitchen doors shattered. This can happen anywhere. So we don't blame Chile or Concepcion. We don't blame ourselves. We were parked in an incredibly safe area that was lit up like crazy and there were literally people 20 feet away when he tried to break through our window. Another thing I want to tell you is we planned for something like this to happen, hoping it never would, but everything we talked about that we would do if something like this happened kicked in. You know, we have uh, spotlights that we can turn on immediately, so we flip them on. Kurt gets up, we make a lot of noise because for the most part, we've always figured if someone's going to try to break into our van, they just want to steal stuff. They don't want to hurt us, so if they are figuring out that someone is in the van, they're likely going to leave, and that's exactly what happened. So, Kurt gets up, I flip on the lights, lots of screaming, lots of noise, and we crank the van immediately in case we have to evacuate, which we did, but not in a hurry because he ran away. Now, one detail is we woke up to a loud oh. boom, 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 yeah. boom. I think there was six times he must have been just smashing the windshield with his elbow or his Something. fist. And the other thing that we have in place is we have security tent on our windows. Yeah, a film that keeps them from breaking. And it worked. It I worked mean, good. I don't think I don't think he would have got in anyway. The window's still there, it shattered in a hundred pieces. But, but that's another thing that we have in, in place yeah. for security. Yeah, I feel that it was a very scary way to wake up. 
and um, you know our kitties sleep up here in the front and I just feel so terrible. They were scared to death. I've never seen their little eyes so big. They both slept back in the bed with us last night and into the morning. But we're all kind of getting back to normal. It is 8.20. Uh, we have found a auto repair glass place that opens at 9 and we're going to go there with our fingers crossed. This is not like the spare tire. We can't drive around no. South America without a passenger window. And we yeah. can't see out of it right now, so. That is one silver lining to being in a big city. We actually have a few choices. There's three or four repair shops that do windows. We're starting with the biggest one, hoping they can help us. Let's go, guys. Warning for anyone that doesn't want to see Kurt's belly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So Kurt went flying out of the bed as part of our plan to run someone off and his feet got tangled in the cover so he took a nosedive through the van <laughs> and he banged his ribs up pretty good. We can't figure out on what. I'm actually quite surprised that it's not bruised this morning. It had a little purple tint to it already last night. I can assure you I'm not Superman. I tried to fly last night and it was hard landing. Yeah. <laughs> but. I can scream like a, I don't know, <laughs> like a primal of, roar. A because... wild animal. He went running like crazy when Skirt, Kurt went to screaming. All right. Here's people having a worse day than us. Several motorcycle police. The ambulance and the fire truck just pulled up. It looks like to us the bus got in an accident. It's definitely a bus that stopped. Yeah, bus yeah. smashed into somebody. Yeah, there's people on the bus hurt. So, several fire trucks and ambulances coming. It could always be worse. Here comes another fire truck. And I want to point something out. Now, not that they don't exist, but this is the first country where we have seen fire trucks rolling with lights and sirens. It's not something we've seen anywhere else in Central America or most of South America. Maybe just part of the Chile is a very developed country and we're in a big city, of course. Oh, here comes the third fire truck. They might have a lot of people hurt, guys. Let's hope that everybody's okay. So we arrived. This pickup truck just came in. This truck's in front of us. We're five minutes early, so the window smashing bandits were out last night. It wasn't just one. Four cars here. Hopefully they can get us in here. We're about to find out. So we went in and paid. It was about 60,000 uh, uh, Chilean pesos to get this repaired with the labor. So that translates to, I think, about $75 muscle manos. And uh, they say they can do it within an hour or two. He's taking off the door panel right now. So hopefully we'll be back in business. They do not do window tenting here. And obviously, guys, the security tent held and did a phenomenal job. I am a big fan of that. I highly recommend, even if you don't live in your vehicle, if you do not live in your van, smash and grabs happen all too often. And I highly recommend this security tent. I don't think they would have got in it. And it's still kind of holding the glass outside of the van. All that stuff is good. It's expensive, but in this particular case, it certainly paid off. New window is in. The door panel's going back on. Everything's coming together nicely. We have a new window. <laughs> So we're kind of back on track. We still got to try to find somewhere for the security film. I'm sure Kurt's told you all about that stuff. But before we do that, we want to go to the government office, get back on track, trying to get our export papers for the kitties. Sometimes that takes a couple of days. I'm kind of hoping we get lucky and it's a one day process here in Chile. Let's go see. Okay, that is all done, but we cannot come back until Friday and it is Wednesday. So I had heard rumor that it takes two days here and it does. But Friday morning at 9 a.m. we'll come back to SAG. Let me show you the sign. The Ministry of Agriculture and pick up our papers. They were very kind. They helped a bunch with the Spanish English thing. It cost $20. 
So $10 per cat. Our good fortune continues today. Things are going smooth and better than expected. As soon as we left the pet paper place, we came to the tent and security film place that Kurt had scoped out on Google. They parked us up on the sidewalk because we won't fit in their work area and they are already started. So within 30 minutes, they're already measuring out and getting ready to put our new security film on. They're gonna be able to come close to matching our existing tent color. It only is gonna cost 25 US dollars and maybe take two hours. We could not have asked for better response from the business people here in Concepcion. They have been amazing and kind. So Kurt, what are you doing back there? Making some lunch while they do that so we can get on the road. We got other stuff to do today. <laughs> Other stuff to do, and just so you know, we use one of our couch cushions, some hair clips, and our curtains whenever we're doing something like this to kind of keep the kitties in the back of the van. It's all gonna be okay. Guys, it is less than 15 hours after some very desperate person tried to smash our window and break into our van, and the van is whole again. We have a new window, new tent, new security film and we had tacos for lunch look at that guys the you only thing we got to remember is we can't roll this window down for two days and we're still missing a spare tire from peru, from peru. but we're not going there right now this is all about a good ending to <laughs> a bad time for a video and with that we're gonna see you guys in a few days cheers if you like this video be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!